When starting DDS-CAT, the software opens by default with the Project Manager dialog. Here we have access to various options to start with. For example, existing projects can be opened directly from the drop-down list. By selecting a project from this list, DDS-CAT directly opens it. A new project can be created by entering a new name for the project we would like to work on. Whilst typing the new project name, the button Create will be activated. If we enter a name of a project that already exists, the button Create will not be activated. All DDS-CAT projects are sorted by Building Services disciplines. The following disciplines are available. Building, Electrical, Sanitary Heating and Ventilation. With this approach, DDS-CAT allows users to simultaneously work in a project, one user for each discipline per story. To open a model, select one of the disciplines and the corresponding story, for example, building and the basement. Next, click on Open. Once the model is opened, it will be displayed in the Explorer. We can have multiple models open at the same time in a single project. To do so, open the Project Manager by clicking on the icon in the toolbar or use the shortcut Ctrl-J. Select the desired discipline plus a story and press Open. The primary elements of the DDS-CAT interface are the menu, the toolbar which includes several tools that are used in every discipline, the toolbox offers specific functions depending on the active working mode. And on the left we will find the explorer which shows all open models. The toolbox reflects the available functions of the active working mode. By selecting a different working mode we can see that the content of the toolbox changes as well. The active model is displayed in bold in the explorer. We can switch between open models via the Explorer by double-clicking on one of the available entries. If preferred, the DDS-CAT interface can be customized according to personal preferences. For example, we can drag the Explorer window and dock it to the right side of our screen. The same can be done with the toolbox. Here we dock it to the left side. If by any chance the tabs such as the Explorer, Toolbox or any other are closed or not available, we can move the mouse cursor to the button or top of the DDS-CAT interface and with a right mouse click, list of all tabs and their statuses is shown. Select the deactivated tab to make it visible again on the screen. In addition, we can restore the DDS-CAT interface via the menu window and select the option Restore Default Docking Bar and Toolbar bar Layout. DDS-CAT must be restarted in order for the changes to take effect.